Today is a great day because Fortnite finally ended their almost month long break from hosting tournaments and gave us the ranked cup. This tournament is divided into 5 separate tournaments based on rank, but Diamond, Elite, Champion, and Unreal are all grouped into one, the Diamond Plus Cup. Also, since FNCS is so soon and there really hasn't been any practice in so long, I'm hosting a $100 duo tournament in my Discord on Saturday the 14th, which should be the day after I post this video, so if you want to play in that, all you have to do is subscribe and join my Discord, which I'll link in the description. But getting back to the Ranked Cup, this tournament didn't really have a prize except for a glider, so I decided to use it to solve my biggest issue that I have in solos, which is definitely my drop spot. I've tried a few drops already, but they've all been either too contested or just didn't have that good of loot, so in this tournament, I landed at a ton of different drop spots, and at the end of this video, I have to decide between them to find out what my solo drop spot for the rest of the season was going to be. Last thing before we get into it, I streamed this whole thing on my Twitch, which I'll put in the description, so if you guys want to watch me play tournaments live, make sure to go over there and follow. The first spot I landed at was Rebel's Roost, somewhere that I honestly haven't been to much this season, but let's see if it's good enough to be my new solo drop spot. Wait, I'm looking good. Where, where'd this guy go? What? There's just a guy right here. Dude, I'm so confused. Like these people are despawning. And I'm getting killed. Oh, my job is terrible. Nice. Forgot these are central lobbies. Nice, bro. Bro, this spot is so bad, bro. I think there's like seven chests here total. I have no shield. All right, we're good. Oh, there's a guy here. All right, I gotta kill this guy now. I have no shield though, bro. This spot is actually terrible. Yeah, this is definitely not the spot, bro. I cannot find a lick of shield. Get me out of here. It's a real player. Damn, this guy is gone. Oh my God. Never mind. Well, that means you can't queue up, bro. Respawn. Oh my god, I thought I killed him, bro. Yeah, I just got to not shoot him. There we go. Nice. Oh my god, I just sold. 18 health, bro, I'm so bad. So obviously, I wasn't ever going back to Rebel's Roost after how atrocious it was, but the spot I'm trying out next is the graveyard right above Reckless Railway, and honestly, this spot was a lot more promising. Even though I died off spawn my first game landing here, that death was 100% my fault, so I decided to land here again. Yikes, bro, this guy's about to kill me. Yeah, it's over. Nice. Well, that guy sold. Look, he had an SMG. All right, let me see what type of loot I can get from this place. More barrels and ammo boxes. Honestly, this loot is not too bad, bro. Bunch of shield and guns and grappling. It's like all you need, to be honest. And I think you can farm this for metal too. Yeah, it's not a ton, but it's all you need in solos at least. And I can also go to these two chests over here for any more loot. Mm, three chests and slow barrels, bro. Nice. Did this guy get the vault yet? I don't think he did. Damn, bro, I got straight in that guy's face. It's just like a range cap. You play it, and it's based on rank.
How did he just hit me? What? There we go. Know it. Please wish me luck right now. Oh my god, thank you. Hey, good luck, bro. You gotta wish me luck. This guy's looking deadly. Oh, never mind. Full piece. No. That's bad, bro. That's bad. Keep your shotgun, too. And two shield to this. Damn, this guy was stacked. Alright, I'm going for the last medallion, bro. I'm trying to get all five. Nice. That's the last medallion, bro. Got all the infinity stones. Rocking the five dollar Booga Mouse from Five Below. Are you serious? That's like, that's like down bad, down bad. And honestly, I can't, I can't even hit on you, bro. I'm, I'm using a fifteen dollar keyboard that came with my PC right now, so I really can't hit. I need to buy a new keyboard soon, bro. What keyboard should I buy? You get an Apex Pro, bro, hundred percent. If you're gonna buy a keyboard, get an Apex Pro. how much does this cost? The TKO is like a hundred something, and like you could get one for like a hundred refer or whatever. And the the um the sixty percent is like two hundred, but it's worth it though. It's literally better than every single other keyboard. I had like five keyboards already, and it's like not even close. Like, I mean, you could get one for like a hundred dollars on Amazon. Wait, you make it out. You can get one for a hundred dollars on Amazon, but it's <laughs> it keeps cutting out, bro. They returned it, bro. You could give them for a hundred, but they returned it, oh. and then the regular price is like one seventy. All right, that's damn. That's a lot. Honestly, like I might just invest in a really keyboard. Like the last one I had broke, and it wasn't like I like smashed it or anything. It was just sort of like broke out of nowhere. Which one was it? It was the um, uh, Wooting one, the Wooting GK sixty one, I think. G Wooting GK sixty one, bro. I just <laughs> Bro, I'm like unstoppable right now, bro. All five infinity stones. What can they do? This guy has no idea. Damn! Oh my god. I don't miss a shot. I mean, just back me out of this game, bro. I'm just dead. Get that negativity out of here, bro. 145. One more. Where's he at? I, I know for a fact it's gonna take me like five minutes to find this guy. Here he is. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta lock him. Damn. Thank you, win, bro. That's what we like to see. So overall, I actually really liked that graveyard spot, and it was really simple to fight at, and it had enough loot and metal for a solo, and it will definitely be one of the finalists for my favorite drop spot at the end of this video. The next spot I tried was this pool house on the bottom of the map close to Snooty, and the spawn fight I had here was honestly one of the most intense I have ever had. Dude, I just like, I mm, have no idea how to loot this. The chest up here? No, it's down here. Dude, what is going on? It has to be like right here. Ah, there it is. It's in the, it's in the chandelier, of course it is. Yeah, it's not looking good. Wow, I'm dead. Damn it. Winnable. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I knew you knew that. Let me out. I'm gonna make it. I'm one HP. Oh my god. Bro, I need to get out of here and find some shield.
down. Guys, no mask, bro. No, what the fuck am I doing? Hang on. I can kill him. Come here. Nice, bro. I was 1 HP, that's so clutch. Alright, let me see if I can find any more shield here, bro. Cause I know I use a lot of it, but... Kill me some more. Alright, I got some stuff. We're looking good. Is there any metal here, though? That's my question. Oh, there's a slurp dog back there. And I guess I can farm those metal fences. Would've been nice to know earlier before I popped all that shield, but... It's all good. I guess I'll go over here and see what is there any extra loot. There's people I can fight. I just, I just trolled. I just trolled, bro. Wow. Oh, got a bot on my back, bro. Dude, oh my god, I can't, bro. I'm just getting destroyed by a bot right now. Yeah, I got you, guys. I'm dead. Wow. Oh my god, I'm the worst player in the game, bro. Like, <laughs> I can't, I cannot believe I just died there. Wait, what happened? You're getting shit on by a bot? Like, I, I don't know how they're so good, bro. Like, they just shoot you through walls, bro. So even though that was a pretty embarrassing death, the drop spot is what I want to focus on. Going back, even though that was an insanely long fight, there was still enough loot afterwards to get me to full shield and have extra, and there was a slurp truck there that I didn't know about. The spot is also really good for mats, and so because of all that, the pool house is also going to the final decision at the end of this video. The next spot I tried was actually suggested to me by a viewer, so let's see if they're onto something. There this spot, this spot has 10 barrels, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Really good shield here, and it's uncommon. Not that much loot, though, bro. Not a single chest yet. I got a shotgun and SMG, though. That's all I need. The guy gliding in. What? Yeah, what, what is this guy doing, bro? Oh, my God. He shot beamed. Oh, my God. This guy is, like, destroying me. How do you have so many mats? Damn, bro. It, it's over. I'm dead. Alright, I don't know what else I can do there, but... So after that game, I decided to go back to the same spot one more time because I honestly thought that that death was mostly my fault. But what ended up happening this game was someone landed on me and I ended up killing them. But then another person came up to fight me from the dock that's super close. And then while I was fighting that guy, another person came and then another person came and I ended up dying. So what I'm concluding about this spot is that there's just too many other spots around it and you're always going to get third party if you land here. So I'm crossing this one off the list for possible finalists. The next spot I'm landing at is actually pretty interesting because this is a spot that I won $100 from in my land where I die challenge video and I really wanted to see if I could consistently get good loot from here or if it was just a fluke that one time. I mean, what am I doing bro? I'm not gonna hit a single shot. Seven slurp barrels here bro, that's crazy. And there's like some more over there. Damn, someone looted that? I don't really know what I'm gonna do then. It was right up there. I'm kidding, you should send me if you want. Damn, this guy's gone. Try and loot this little junkyard if I can. I wonder if this spot we get to land at.
Ada you. I have so many mats, honestly, I can just build a ton of boxes. Probably is a big part of I'm trying to get this guy's face, bro. Can't beat him with this if I have a thumb. Damn, bro. It's looking bad. Yeah, that's it. So that drop spot honestly isn't terrible if I have nowhere else to land. But the thing is, it relies on people to not land at the other places around it. And in that game, I couldn't even get a pump because someone had already taken all the loot near Grand Glacier. And for that reason, I'm not going to be considering that drop for my final decision. The next spot, however, might just end the streak of bad drops because I'm landing at this mansion on the south side of the map. Hey, I got a spot on con. That's nice. Hopefully it has some loot, and then it will be perfect. Damn, we're looking good already. Blue pump and green burst. Wait, is there a is there a vault here? Yo, I did not know that there was bots here. There is a vault. Oh my god. Man, this way my this spot might be crazy. Oh, it's not even locked though. Wait, where's the vault at? This isn't the vault. Then what is? Damn, and I got stacked from this too. Damn, I got really good loot from this spot. I just don't know if there's any metal here. And I guess you could like farm this and some of that building, but. Bro, why did this guy come over here just to like sit out, sit on height? Is he running away now? <laughs> Bro, that's so weird. Oh my god! Dude, why did it not let me grapple? I almost just died because of that. Trying to make it right away though. But that's next guy. Bam. I'm choking my edges right now. And my shots, apparently. Guys, like no match or something, bro. I don't know why he's playing like this. Oh my god, I'm crazy. I don't know if I should go in right now or wait. Nice, bro. Perfect timing, bro. Just gotta wait. Be patient. Oh my god. Is that a medallion? I think so, yeah. Oh! Peter's pump. That's huge. Oh my god, bro. This guy's a mythic, bro. He shot so fast. No, bro. One shot the zone. 
That's definitely gonna kill me. I gotta, I gotta go in here and buy a med kit. Bandages, this much. Can I make it? Thank God. Dude, oh my God. Oh my, it didn't reset. I'm so bad at this game, bro. It's actually insane. So the mansion from this game was really good in terms of loot. I left with a blue pump, gold SMG, gold sniper, and a lot of shield. So it will be moving on to the final decision at the end. However, it does have some pretty strong drawbacks, which I'll get into later. The final drop spot that I'm going to be testing in this tournament is this weather station on the hill to the right side of Classy Courts. Should we be able to like, land on this chest right away? Yo, what? I'm dead. Dude, wait. What? How did that guy just run into the vault? So as I said earlier in this video, all the vaults in this game were open during this tournament and I still didn't know, so I ended up dying there, but obviously that wasn't a fair examination of the spot, so I decided to go back one more time. So one person here, he has a terrible job. Oh my god. I don't lie. I got this. Yeah, back off, bro. Oh, he's not running away. I gotta get this vault. Oh. He has a shotgun. Oh my god. Wait, is there a guy in here? I'm not tripping. Is that a bot? Oh, that's probably a bot that I'm seeing footsteps from. Purple burst SMG. Wait, this place is actually good. What the fuck? What? The spot I'm running in? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's just because it has a vault. I mean, all the. Wall spots are freaking good. It has max metal. It does it? I mean, there's just metal all around you, bro. Mm, that's true, yeah. Gotta be thinking about these things. Where's this bot at? Here he is. And this one has five slur barrels, too. Six slur barrels. It's time to go W key into classy courts. Where is this guy? There he is. Yo, I'm done. Oh my god, I'm so... Yeah, it's time to get off. It's actually time to get off. So even though I was playing like complete garbage at this point, I still really liked that drop spot. It had a good amount of loot, slurp barrels, metal, and was only contested by one person each game I went there. And so with that, it's time for me to make the final decision. The way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to put the four final drop spots I liked the most up on the screen, and then I'm going to put out a set of criteria that I want my drop spot to have, and if a drop spot doesn't meet that criteria, I'm going to eliminate it. So I know that this isn't very pretty, but these are the final four drop spots that I'm going to be deciding from. In the top left, we have the graveyard from the first game. Top right is the pool house. Bottom left is the mansion. And bottom right is the weather station from the last few games. The first thing that I absolutely need my drop spot to have is metal. Metal is super important to have, especially in solo cash cup finals when you can't easily kill someone for a refresh. And so that means that the mansion is eliminated. This spot probably has around two to maybe 300 metal total, but it's all in these small objects which take a really long time to farm, and all of the other spots have railings or other things that give metal much faster, and so that's why the mansion will not be my solo drop spot. The next criteria is going to be that the spot needs to be easy to fight at. What I mean by this is that I don't want my spot to be a large complex of buildings that people can easily run through and make fights last way longer than they should. This means that the pool house is going to be eliminated. It's honestly a perfect match for everything I just said, and I can definitely imagine trying to land here in a solo cash cup and having a fight last over five minutes and then someone nearby comes in third parties and kills us both the other two drop spots are much smaller and don't really allow people to draw out fights so they're going to survive the final criteria that's going to decide my drop spot for the rest of the season is going to be map position Having a good position in solo cash cups is super important because it means you have more time to recover if you make a mistake. For example, if you're fighting off spawn and have to run away or just need more time to loot and find extra shields, you're better off being closer to the center of zone where you're going to be able to rotate in all directions without being forced to go in zone. Also, being closer to the center of zone means that you're going to be before everyone else on rotations. The graveyard is obviously closer to the center of zone than the weather station, so by process of elimination, that's going to be my new solo drop spot. I'm honestly hyped for the next solo cup where I can see if this new spot is going to work out for me or not. 
But anyways, guys, if you made it to the end of the video, please consider dropping a sub if you enjoyed, and also make sure to join my Discord for that $100 tournament happening tomorrow. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.